The Bible instructs us to put on the whole armor of God, not part of the armor, but the whole armor of God. And a lot of us have been walking around with our own armor. Somebody say, did you change clothes yet? We've been walking around trying to do stuff in our own strength, trying to do stuff our own way, thinking about it the, the way we want to do it. Well, this is who I am, this is how I am, this is what I'm going to do. But I want to know if you're going to change and when you're going to change your armor. When you're going to change your clothes. When you're going to change your way to God's way. Amen? Amen. And, and, you know, I, the, he goes through a whole list, breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth. You know, we need all this stuff. But what was really intriguing to me was the shield of faith. Somebody say shield of faith. Because the scripture says that um, in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith. And he, he lists all these things, but, but before he says something about the shield of faith, he wants to let you know when you need the shield of faith. All right. And I don't know if you ever watch anything with people battling and stuff, but when they have a shield, most of the time they're not using the shield all the time, but they have the shield with them. Hello? And I began to think about this thing. I said, ooh, this, this is nice because he said in all, somebody said all, all. circumstances. What's all? In all circumstances, take with you the shield of faith. If you know anything about a Roman soldier's shield come on, come on. in this time, it, was, it had four corners. And it was likened unto a door. Yes. Looked like a door. In all circumstances, uh -huh. right. take with you the ability to open the door of faith mm. and step through. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if when we had issue, at the issue approach uh -huh. us, if we said, you know what? I'm not going to back down in fear. I'm about to open the door of faith. Oh, y'all ain't with me right now because y'all, where y'all at? Because sometimes we run in fear when we should stand in faith. And the Bible says that in all, somebody say all circumstances, every ounce of circumstance, everything that you go through, everything that you face, every problem, every trial, every tribulation, every good day, every bad day, take up the shield of faith. The shield of faith. Your life needs to be protected by the door of faith. And I'm telling you, if you learn how to cross over bad situations in faith, God can do something with your life. If you learn how to take faith to every situation, God can work a miracle. Well, well the Lord told me to do this. I ain't got no money. Do you have faith, though? Well, the, the Lord told me to speak to this person. Now, I'm, I'm afraid they're going to reject me. But do you have faith, though? Well, the Lord told me to bless this person, but I don't know if I'm able to. Do you have faith, though? The Lord told me to serve a little bit more at the church, and I just don't know if I got enough time. But do you have faith, though? Oh, well, y'all ain't here right now. You, you're missing this. Huh? Well, the Lord said, I need to give more to the church. Well, I, I really ain't got enough money to make sure all my bills. But, but do you have faith, though? All right. Because if you got faith, you got protection. They, I'm going to preach to you. If you got faith, you got protection. So anything that you face, if you approach it with faith, you're covered. Any, any circumstance that comes your way, Michael, if you approach with faith, you can distinguish, the Bible says, the, the darts of the enemy, the fiery darts of the enemy. All you need is a little bit of faith. Faith is the wall between you and your circumstance. Faith is the thing that you walk into your circumstance where it says, you know what, shoot whatever you want to shoot at me. I'm covered because I got my shield of faith. And a lot of us are not doing what God's called us to do because we are stuck running around in our own protection. Not with God's protection. Because we don't trust the Lord enough to put down our armor to pick up his armor. 